Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to make a quick video on uh, this, uh, I want to say maybe fear, it seems like, and the, the Bitcoin slash cryptocurrency market. Um, first, off, first off, let me make a correction. Uh, last video I made, I mentioned a guy's name who I said you guys should check out, and I said Anton, and that's the wrong name. I'm, I'm an idiot for that. It's Andreas Antonopoulos who talks a lot about Bitcoin and does like a lot of conferences and very well knowledgeable in it. And they and they and he and he purposely tells people like if you want to pay me to uh, ha host an event or whatever, you got to pay me in Bitcoin. So not only does that dude like talk about it, he, you know, he lives it. He, he that's his whole lifestyle. That's how he uh, pays for things day to day. But um, if you look on a one week chart, Bitcoin's down. Ethereum's kind of still going sideways, and Litecoin's down. Um, so I added some uh, to this. I bought some Bitcoin and some Litecoin. So originally I had like a hundred bucks, so I just put like two hundred in, and then LTC, which is Litecoin, I I just added a hundred bucks on that, and then Ethereum I already had a uh, two hundred bucks, and it's going kind of sideways. So I'm just letting that see what happens. But uh, Litecoin and Bitcoin are definitely both hit like a, a sharp spike down. So I added to that. But as you can see on this one month, I mean, it from uh, all the way from 1175 all the way to a peak of, you know, 18, 1860, just in one month, it's a huge run up. But it's finally starting to cool off and uh, give back some of its gains. So I, I just, I had, luckily I had my money transfer. That's another thing, like I was saying. When you transfer money from your bank account, your regular bank account, into this app, it takes like up to like a week. You know, it takes a little while. But once it's in there, you have this uh, USD balance you see here, where I have 195.62. That's where I basically just hold the cash that I've already predetermined that's going to be used to buy these currencies, these cryptocurrencies. And then whenever, whenever I'm ready to buy something... I just transfer from my USD wallet basically to either one of these through the BTC, LTC, or ETH. And, uh, or you can see here, BTH wallet, USD wallet. I don't use the BTC vault. I just use the wallets. But um, I just move the money out of it and into one of those. And that way I can buy coins. So Bitcoin, I only have 0 0.20. Litecoin, I have 7.0. And Ethercoin, I have 2.2. .2. But yeah, seeing Bitcoin come crashing down like this is... It's nice. Finally get a nice little dip by. And it's kind of, uh, looks like it's along the same level as right here on uh, the 9th. So it's kind of kind of coming around to that same area. So if you think you want to get into this and you already have some money in this account maybe sitting, this might be a good time to buy. I did, you know, I'm just telling you what I did. Um, if you don't feel comfortable, that's totally fine. You know, it's your guys' money you're spending, so just be cautious of that. But um, I haven't looked too much into why uh, this little bit of a pullback is happening. But I haven't seen any major news or anything related uh, that could be dragging it down so much. So I'm thinking since Bitcoin is having a really big run up, I mean, it, all, it almost got to like 1900, you know, and the closer it gets to 2000, you know, like every time... I've noticed like or any any stock or whatever gets to like a certain number, usually like a like an even number like fifty, a hundred, five hundred, one thousand, whatever. They'll always uh kind of get or the people will be afraid like once it hits that number, you know, it's gonna break into new territory. So it'll kind of like bounce up and down against it. It'll like test it, and then it'll build up some uh, resistance line. And then I'll shoot through that resistance line and basically become a support line. So I think that's what might be happening right now. Um, you might see it shoot up a little bit. It might get close to this level. And then it might come down a little bit and then eventually uh, blow past it. Or or the whole thing could come crashing down, of course. That's always a possibility. If you look at the a, a all-time chart, you know, like it spiked up here really quick to the uh, 1,000 in uh, December... 2013 and it's been going just all the way steady up again but if it does i'm just gonna keep buying more because i'm i'm gonna i'm into this stuff for the long term because one day i think uh cryptocurrencies and alt currencies are gonna basically take over everything 
Um, let me get my blocks real quick. Get these stupid ads. And they still have the blocks. Yeah, Bitcoin still need 937 blocks. And then Ethereum still 25 blocks. 25,000 blocks. So it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I just I wanted to make a quick video on that. I think it's interesting. I think it's a good buying opportunity if you want to get into it. Like right now might be a good time. Um, or it might go down further, you know, and you could you could wait even longer. It's totally up to you. Um, if it keeps going down, I'm just going to keep adding more. Uh, once it once it keeps going down and it hits like a bounce, I'll usually try to buy that bounce. So I just want to make that video really quick. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Um, if you like my channel, click like and subscribe. And if you want to get in cryptocurrency, now might be a good time. So, have a good day.